Hello everyone, my name is Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepi at gmail.com. I'm the creator of iBridgePi, a flexible and easy to use Python platform to help users to build automated trading robots. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to get a refresh token from TD Ameritrade because iBridgePi is able to support live trading with TD Ameritrade. Let's talk about the prerequisite. The first thing you need is a TD Ameritrade live account, which means you have account number, login ID, and password. The second, you need to have a registered app at developer.tdameritrade.com. If you don't have one and want to create one, you can check out this video to create an app. What you need to have from this app is callback URL and a consumer key. You need to use these two things to get a refresh token from TD Ameritrade. If you prefer to get a refresh token using Python, please check out this video tutorial. This one. The basic steps are as follow. First step, you need to build a URL based on consumer key and callback URL. Then, after you put the build URL into a web browser, you need to log in and authorize third-party access. Then, after you got a, a token, you need to decode the, the code, decode the token. At a decode, use a decoder. And I use this website, URL encoder.org. The last step is to verify the token you got is a, a valid token. Then let's talk about how to build a URL. The URL will look like this. And this part is pretty much fixed. What you need to change is to change, I put in the curly parentheses, encoded callback URL. And the other thing you need to do is replace this part by your consumer key. The next part, I will give you a hands-on demonstration on how to do that. Then let's switch to a web browser. This is the developer.tdameritrade.com. I created an app here. After login, go to My Apps. I have one app here. It's called iBridgePi. And go to the tab of Keys. You will see the consumer key. Let's copy it to a notepad and then click details this is the callback url copy the full url to a notepad then what you need to do is to go to this website This URL encoder website. The first step is encode your callback URL. So what you need to do is copy this one, paste it here, and then click encode. This is the encoded form of the callback URL here. Let's copy it to the notepad. Then we can build URL. Let's build the URL here. Let's 
copy this format and then copy it to the notepad let's use this encoded URL and replace this part the next is to copy consumer key and replace this part then we have a full URL to use copy this full URL open an empty page copy it there and hit enter then you are directed to this authorized page the next part is to input user ID and password then let me put in the ID and password then click login so this is the TD authorization page click allow okay don't go to other page be careful copy the whole URL show here and copy this one and paste it to the notepad okay and from you can see this long URL start from code equal and from here to here this is the access token you need to use this access token to get a refresh token later so that let's copy this part go to encoder web page this time what you need to do is decode click decode and put it there then click decode and this is the final access token let's copy it and paste it we will need it for the next step after we got the access token it's time to get a refresh token using this access token what we need to do is go to the developer tdameritry.com authentication apis click post access token then we need to fill in a few information grant type we need to put authentication code refresh token leave it empty put offline lowercase to access type code then copy the access token and copy it to code client ID this is the original client ID but what we need to do is append at this one this one is the full client ID we need to copy it and paste it here redirect the URL here we need to put 
the callback URL here. Then it's time to click send. If successful, you will see HTTP 200 OK, which means the request is successfully processed at the server side. And you can see here is the return access token is here. And the refresh token is here. This is the refresh token. We can copy it and to the notepad so we can use it later. Okay, finally, you got a refresh token. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel of AveragePy. AveragePy is an easy to use Python platform to backtest and live trade. Thank you.